You know, growing up, Chris and I knew we wanted to start a business together of some kind. We just weren't quite sure what that would be. John was living in Philadelphia and I was out in Boulder, Colorado, which is where a lot of the, the craft brewery renaissance was, was really starting. So we decided to move back home to central Pennsylvania and in 96, Trogues was born. In the beginning, when we needed help, we bring in friends, family, aunts, uncles, grandparents, any volunteer we could find to help us, usually bottle or keg. And then as we grew, we were able to find really great people and add new equipment. Since then, we've grown to 182 people that are helping us run the brewery today. At our brewery here in Hershey, we were able to build our dream plant. It has the flexibility built into it, so as brewers, if we're able to dream it up, now we can brew it and recreate it. We're not an English ale brewery, we're not a German lager brewery. You know, we, ha we take bits and pieces from each one of those traditions and try to come up with what we think is a very creative and great tasting beer. We like to use local ingredients because we can easily go there and try them. We really do dig getting in the fields and tasting the ingredients and using them in beer. One of our favorite farms is Streit's Orchard. We're planting pumpkins that we're gonna use for our fall pumpkin beer. After we come up with a recipe, a really fun part for us is then coming up with the name and the logo. Mad Elf, Troganator, Hopback, Dreamweaver, Hop Knife, Blizzard of Hops, Java Head, Solid Sender, Nugget Nectar, Nimble Giant, Flying Mouflon. Is that all of them? One of the ways we share a creative process is with our Scratch series. Every week we have a new Scratch beer that comes out, so when people come into our tasting room, they can try something different that we're, we're trying to learn from. We're drawn to people with a sense of adventure and curiosity. And we think they're drawn to Trogue's beer as well.